good. How are you? Good. This is Shannon. She runs the bait shop here at Bay's Edge Bait and Tackle. Uh, can you give me a tour today? Yes, I can. Let's. Where do you want to start? Over by the fish tank? Yeah, we can start. Sure Sounds good. good. All right, let's explain a little bit about these fish here. Okay, so these fish come out of our pond, actually, our privately stocked pond. Um, we have numerous fish in there. We have hybrid striped bass. We have largemouth. We've got hybrid largemouth. We've got smallmouth. Um, now, we don't all have them in our aquariums. We have found over the years the best ones that actually survive in the aquarium for a short amount of time is the largemouth and the smallmouth bass. And, you know, we have some bluegill and some crappie in there as well. Now you can see all the shiners in there because they just got fed this morning, so they're nice, fat, and healthy. <laughs> and how long do they stay in the tank? Um, we will we will swap the fish out every couple weeks so they don't get too stagnant in there. You know, put them back out in the pond, catch fresh fish, bring them in. You know, so they just don't it. Everybody gets a little turn in the tank for the store. <laughs> Perfect. All right, how about some of the baits that you have here? Okay, um, we have numerous baits. We have numerous um, bandits in stock. We have ice fishing gear. It's getting to be close to that time of the year. It's not quite there yet. Um, not all of it's down. I also have augers, power augers, shadings, that's all still in storage until I find out whether or not we have good ice. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we offer custom painted baits, which um, are right here, and these are the Tommy Harris brand. We have bandits, we have P10s, the shallow divers, and we also have the DHJ 14s as well, all in custom painted. And then we just, yeah, we have plenty of stock colors, which we have the shallows, which are starting to take off this time of the year for the shore fishermen. We've got those in customs. We've got those in bandits, P10s, husky jerks. We've got quite a few variety that you can choose from to fish from shore. We, you know, Tommy's not the only custom painted baits we have here. We have JT's as well. And he's got some shallows and some deeps that are painted. And then we have let's see, reef runners are a good shore bait as well for this time of the year. We have his 800 series for the deep diving. We've got his little rippers. We've got his 44 mags that he came out with. Um, last year as well, so we got those in stock, and then we turn into the husky dirt where we got, you know, the shallows for the shore fishermen right here. And that's, those are the HJ-12s and HJ-14s. And then more P-10s for the show, the shore fishermen here. Okay. And then as far as rods, we have St. Croix rods here that you sell a lot of? Yes, we do. We have, I carry a few different series. We carry the Panfish series. I carry the Bass X series. I carry the Mojo Bass. I carry the Premier series. Uh, the Legend Tournament. <laughs> the Icon. And the Avid series. You got them covered. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, they're nice rods, that's for sure. Best rods on earth, right? Yes, they are. All right, we got a little construction going on over here. Yes. So tell me a little bit about that. Well, this was a display board at one point in time um, where we had, it was for spinning blades and worm burners. This was Tommy Harris's line of blades and worm burners. What we decided we were going to do is it was kind of a, not a whole lot going on here. So we decided to rip down that slat wall 
and put up Dura Rock, and now we're in the process of rocking the wall, and we're going to be moving more racks in here, which this is going to concentrate where um, most of Tommy Harris's products will be. You know, his his worm burners, his custom painted baits. You know, we're probably going to have some um, beads in there, some. Um, building your own casting harnesses materials in there as well okay yeah that's the and remainder of the blades i have left <laughs> not much left no um and then uh, yeah all the worm burners all this stuff is going to be moved over to those racks over there once all that is complete and then this will be the next chore <laughs> All right, what do we got back here? This is your bait station? Yes, these are my bait tanks. You will not find any that look like this <laughs> anywhere. No, it's beautiful. Um, yeah, all the work was um, done here. All the rock work, all the greenery, um, and then our taxidermist provided, you know, all the mounts, and we still have more coming to put up there. Beautiful. And we normally carry in season when we can get them, shiners available, which we have right now because the water temperature dropped. It seems like we were able to get more of them right now. But for the most part, you know, warmer seasons will normally carry golden shiners. So, yeah. Good. Normally, unless we get bombarded, we normally have bait on, on hand at all times. Okay, uh, anything else back here you want to show us? Or um, maybe the the beer cooler? Yeah. That That's always thing. important for fishermen to yes, have their alcoholic yeah, we beverages. Normally, we, you know, we have our own ice machines, so we bag our own ice, so that's that's a plus. We can sell it in five-gallon buckets or bags. So um, those are, we have a separate freezer for them. But... The walking cooler, it's guaranteed the coldest in the area. You do not want to stay in here very long. <laughs> <laughs> it is cold. The now the rock work was hand laid for this as well. It's very large. Very large. Kind of empty right now. It's in the season, but yeah. All right, guys, so if you're going to come here, they got you covered. And it is very cold. <laughs> and how long have you been here, Shannon? I have been here... Ooh, which part? <laughs> I actually started from work in 2002 back in the fish shop. I ran the fish shop for about 10 years. Um, worked for a little bit, came back when the very first part of the store, back by the tanks, it was just, there was no walls. It was just tanks and concrete and a shelf, that was it. So, and that happened in 2014, so I've been here since. It's a long time. It's, yeah, it's been a long time. It's been a work in progress, but it's a very unique store. You will not find another one in this area like it unless you walk into Cabela's. Right. Or Bass Pro. And guys, Shannon's got you covered. You guys come in here and she can tell you exactly what is working. Like she said, she has ice fishing gear. She has everything for open water. Um, and she knows she knows what she's talking about. So she's definitely the expert. She can come on in and she can help you guys out. And they also do have a board where they have what's going on right now as far as the water temperature, the weather, everything. Um, little mini fishing report here that she can give you too when you come in. So thank you for showing us around. I really appreciate it. You're very welcome.